One of the primary signs of fertility is cervical mucus or cervical fluid, and that is the discharge that you get throughout your cycle. Um, the various textures that you get um, are based on your hormone levels um, at any given point. So usually when you finish your period, um, you won't have very much um, and if you do, it'll probably be um, kind of sticky, kind of like um, dried up glue or a texture similar to that, just that sticky kind of texture. Um, and then it might get creamy, um, kind of lotiony or watery. Um, and as you approach ovulation, when your estrogen levels are starting to peak, um, it'll become the consistency of an egg white. Um, so, I kind of grabbed one here just so you can kind of see. Um, so, kind of goopy. Um, and that is the best uh, texture for helping our sperm friends. Um, it provides um, a means of transportation. It allows them to move um, around in the female body and it also provides nutrients um, so that they can last longer. Um, so it's a good idea to have lots of uh, cervical mucus if you can. Um, there are a couple ways that you can um, build it if you're not naturally um, producing a whole lot. Um, first and foremost is to just stay hydrated. Um, your body can't produce excess uh, fluids if you're not keeping up uh, with staying hydrated for the rest of your body's needs. Um, so drinking plenty of water is one way to help. Uh, you also may want to consider drinking green tea. Um, that works for some women, some women it doesn't. Um, for me, I think the first month that I started using it, I, I didn't really notice much of a difference, but the second month when I tried it again, um, it, it did increase my CM. So um, it might be just something that takes a little bit of time to get into your body. Another thing you would want to consider is, um, let me see if I can pronounce this, guaifenesin? It's the active ingredient that's found in decongestants like Robitussin and Mucinex. Um, what that does is it thins out the mucus that's in your chest, um, but it also thins out mucus that is in the rest of your body, including in your cervix and vagina. Um, so sometimes that helps women kind of thin out, gives a nice slip and slide effect to the sperm. Um, and just allows them to move around in your body a bit more easy. Um, so if you consider taking um, guaifenesin, um, you really need to look on the packaging of the mucinix and or robitussin um, because you want that to be the only active ingredient. Um, if it's you know adding other ingredients to help you sleep or um, so that you're not going to get drowsy, blah, blah, blah. Um, the other active ingredients will interfere with um, the guaifenesin. Because it is a primary sign of fertility, it is the green light to have sex. Um, as you continue to chart, uh, you'll see when you start getting egg white cervical mucus. Um, some women get it for a few days um, longer than others. So as you start jotting it down after a few cycles, you should be able to tell um, how far in advance you're getting that um, CM and, and how you can um, figure out when to start having sex for that cycle.